أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول وأول الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself أنا عبدك العجيز ودائف ومسكين وظالم وجهل and but by the grace of Allah that we are still alive that Allah Zawajal's rahmah and mercy be upon us inshaAllah and that we took a path in which to be nothing. Alhamdulillah the blessed month of Mawlid the Nabi the milad that we survived safar and Allah Zawajal granted us a life in which to see this holy month and its holy lights and that uh, we are here as a symbol of many people who are supporting and helping. Many people online who are helping, Allah bless you, dress you and that the, keep us all under the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad translating articles, working, doing, supporting, giving, everything that makes a whole operation to succeed. Not by one but by many and when many work as one then there's success, you know like the ant. We were talking in the office, they said, why is the ant so important that Allah made a whole surah regarding the ant? It's because its importance is that it has no head. The bigger the head, the bigger the problem. The bigger the head, the more it thinks it knows something, it can do something and thinks through all of its maqs and its head that it's something. And Allah gives us isharat and gives us an understanding, no, no, this ant you don't even know its front and its back is which side. But that ant can lift ten times its weight. That ant as a community acts as an entire movement. They come together, they work together, they have a mentality in which they operate as one but there may be millions and thousands or hundreds and thousands of them. And then Allah in this holy month is the third lunar month with the power of nine is twenty-seven. Surah Al-Naml is the twenty-seventh surah of Holy Qur'an and the first understanding of that holy month is that the armies of Sayyidina Sulaiman when they were marching the armies of Sayyidina Sulaiman Allah gives even an ayah to show its immense importance that the ants yelled to each other, the commander of the ants came out, O oh, ants enter into your homes, the armies of Sayyidina Sulaiman are now moving. What power did the ant have? Because there was no microphone for the ant world. With what power the ant gave a command that enter into your homes? How far was the command? Because imagine now the size of Sayyidina Sulaiman's army his, his whole army fit on a carpet and the carpet went into the air. And the immensity of the army of Sayyidina Sulaiman salam. So what was the area being covered by this ant? And with what power he spoke to all his community and they entered into their homes to seek refuge. So that Allah didn't want them crushed and the Prophet of Allah wanted them to be safe. That power is what this tafakkur is supposed to be opening. That the bigger the head, the bigger the problem, the bigger the thinking that, oh I can accomplish something. It's actually this way of meditation and tafakkur, the first zikr is, La ilaha illallah, illallah to the heart because you're seeing me in the opposite direction if you're watching online. You're going to bring your breath. This holy breath, anafas ar-rahmah, this is a breath in which Allah is sustaining all creation. This breath comes in, you move the light and the energy of that breath up. When it comes to the head it opens a secret of lam alif and la. This way is not based on the head, your head is actually blocking everything from the reality. This battle is between your head and your heart. As much as your head is strong, it will try to suffocate the heart. So it means then the whole objective is to take the head off. Stop using the head, not physically take your head off. 
some people watching, oh look, Shaykh just said take your head off. <laughs> but there must be also an understanding, why in last days Allah is showing all these people with the heads off? Right? Every time these gangs get together all these heads go flying. They didn't need him in the first place because they used the head for the wrong understanding. So it means the first steps of tafakkur, the first zikr of every tariqah, La ilaha illallah, La ilaha illallah. You bring the breath, the energy up, La, that this way is not based on my head, not based on the logic of my understanding of my mind. How are you going to find your mind and how are you going to find God with your mind? So Prophet told companions, leave your head outside and come in. Your head for your work, for your day-to-day -day activities, what to choose for your groceries. Not to find Allah You bring this energy to the head, shut the head off. Ya Rabbi bring this energy and begin to make my head like no head person. And then Mawlana Shaykh would say, oh you're like a no mind person, which was actually a compliment because they didn't want you to use your mind. The mind is way too active, the mind will block everything, the, the miracle will not open through the mind. The miracle of God opens through faith and the heart. So they keep making La ilaha, and then the reality of ilaha, there's a Divine power because my life is the symmetry of, of my mirror. I'm not really appearing here like this. The mirror of my reality is on that side and the heart is on that side. This is, I'm merely a reflection on this earth, my reality is like this. Everything is on the opposite. So we won't go in that tonight what that means. But La ilaha and then bring all the energy and the qudra of what's on your right breast, move that light into the heart, illallah. There's nothing but Allah, illallah, illallah, illallah. And they breathe and you can sit for your tafakkur because all of this ocean and science of meditation, tafakkur has many different aspects. One is to learn how to connect, one is to learn how to breathe, one is how to now begin to move energy. That when you're breathing in you can sit for a hundred times, La ilaha illallah. So when you get to your awrad and your zikr, when you get to La ilaha illallah you go, La ilaha illallah, La illallah, La illallah. They even recommend hold your breath in your zikr, La ilaha illallah, La illallah, La illallah. How long can you go holding your breath? Alhamdulillah that all these different realities in the zikr, in the breathing, all of that is based on tafakkur. All of that is based on the ocean of meditation, how to unlock the greater reality. We are bound in our physicality, the biggest lock of the physicality is the head. The head is telling us what our limitation is where the heart has infinite capacity to find Allah The heart is the house of faith, the abode of faith. So it means everything that we're doing is to shut the head and bring the heart. That's why then all the testing, all the interaction with the shaykhs is that shut your head off. And everything you do with them is you actually want to think through your head with them. Oh you don't understand, uh, excuse me. Of course they understand, if he's a shaykh he knows even what's in your heart. Just by his firasa that Allah gave to him, we gave the holy hadith number 25, they hear with my hearing. You're talking about Allah's power when you're in the presence of these awliyaullah. That's why best to keep your mouth quiet. You say you don't know, what do you mean you don't know? They're not hearing with Allah's hearing? Oh you don't see, we are, we, we are different people, I come from different land, I'm different person. Talking about they look right in with their soul and they go right into where your soul, they know what your soul is saying, what your nafs is saying and the lie that comes from your lip. Otherwise all the way Allah sent them out for guidance, 124,000 on this earth, not one. Allah didn't send them empty, what kind of Lord would be that? 
I grant you my friendship and you go out completely barehanded. Well for you, good luck, I hope they don't kill you. <laughs> no, Allah say, when I grant you my friendship and that's when we talked before, Allah make you a rijal, you're in training. When Allah make you abd, servanthood is not a slave here. Servant to Allah I'm going to dress you with my ancient ayn. You're going to have an ayn and all my ancient alim, all my ancient knowledges will be flowing through you. I'm going to grant you a ba because you're going to be from the people of the bab. This ba opens Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem into the city of all knowledges. Then I give you the dal and you're going to guide, I'm going to give you every type of dress upon this reality. So, I mean they're not coming empty into this world. When Allah is, is granting a servant servanthood, is dressing them, blessing them, filling them loaded fuluk al mashkhoon. They're the loaded ships that move upon this earth to guide people back to that reality. Means then they learned how to shut the head, don't use the head, turn off the head. Open the heart to the lights of faith and that's only through the interaction with the guides and the teachers that they're constantly teaching in a way that challenges what your head is thinking and they want you to think outside of the box of your brain but think with your heart and your faith. InshaAllah Subhana rabbika rabbal izzata ma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bisiri Surah al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.